to a brand new live. This is a live, live episode of The Riff Rundown with the fine folks at Fishman. I'm so happy to be back. My name is Angela Petrilli. So, so thrilled to be teaching this one to you today. We've done three electric lessons in a row. It's been a while since we did electric and I figured I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a bunch of them. So we're gonna be learning Bad Fish by Sublime, one of my favorite tunes out of the 90s. There are some great bar chords in this, some really cool inversions, and some really, really awesome guitar licks. So we're gonna be going over all of those things within the hour. I would say this one is geared towards my intermediates, but my beginners who are watching, stick with me on some of this stuff. Even if it's a little bit over your head for right now, you can always go back and watch these, but there's always something to learn here. So I, uh, I want you to stick with me with this because I know you can play this. So as always, folks, before we get started, have your electric guitar in standard tuning for this one, okay? And let me know where you're tuning in from. Let's see, in your favorite 90s sing-along. I know this is one of my favorite 90s sing-along. So where you're tuning in from and your favorite 90s sing-along, all right? So here we go. So this is Bad Fish by Sublime. <laughs> So that's what we're going to be learning today. There's a ton of really cool other little um, inversions and really cool guitar licks that are in this too. So we're going to be going over all of it within the hour. Again, those of you just tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite 90 sing along. We're going to be going over this tune, Bad Fish by Sublime. So as we saw in the beginning, we're going to go ahead and look at the intro here. So the intro, we're going to live in this area here. So the cowboy chord area, right? My beginners, this is the spot, right? So we've got a lot of open chords. So here's what's happening here. We have A major, we're going to have a B minor, and we're going to have a G chord. So those are the three chords that are going to be in this intro. Now, after watching Bradley, it was a 1995 version where they played this live at the palace. You can watch this on YouTube. He played the A chord like this, okay, with just one finger. So if we want to do it in the style of Bradley, we'll go ahead and do it this way. Uh, if you want to play it in the way that I usually teach it, most times we could do that too, but let's talk about the notes that are in this chord. So A, C sharp, and E, that's the one, three, five, right? The, the major, that builds up the major chord, okay? In this case, A major. So what we're gonna do here, we'll do it in the style of Bradley for this exercise. Okay, we're gonna get our first finger here. Okay, we're gonna kind of play it just like that, all right? First finger, lay it across the second fret of the D string, G string, and B string. So those notes starting from the G string downward, all right? It's gonna be second fret of the D string, that's E, that's our five, okay? Second fret of the G string, that's A, that's our one, and then second fret of the B string, that's our C sharp, all right? 
So in this case, when we play this chord, here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to hit the second fret of that E string, because it's gonna sound like this. That we don't want. Awesome and very cool chord, yes. That's an A6, that we don't want. So when you're strumming this, stop the strum at the B string. So you're gonna start from the low A string, D string, G string, B string, and that's it. Don't hit the high E, so. Now, if that's too much to do, if that's a little too much coordinating with the left and right hand, no problem. Just play it like this, okay? The other, the normal way that I usually teach this A chord. And you can have the open A string there, okay? If you wanna give yourself a little bit of wiggle room, all right? So either way, I'll leave it up to you. But if we wanna play it like Bradley, I noticed that he did it like this, all right? So we're gonna strum that and nice and loose here. He does it different every time, but nice and loose, particularly if we listen to the, um, the album version, nice and loose, okay? So that's gonna be our strumming pattern there. Now we're gonna to go to our B minor. So notice when we play this A chord in this way, when we go to build the bar for B minor, it's already there, we just lift the finger up one more string, okay? So see that move to that? Pretty cool, right? So then we build the rest of the B minor. Here's how we do it. First finger across second fret of the A string through E string like this, okay? Get your second finger, third fret of the, D, of the B string, D note, okay? Third finger reaching up, make sure it's nice and curled like a bridge. Fourth fret of the D string, that is our F sharp, okay? Fourth finger goes down on the fourth fret of the G string, that is our B note. Just like that, okay? And again, nice loose strumming, let the pick do the work for you. Notice here, Strumming from that elbow, okay? I'm not really doing a lot of wrist strumming here. Allow the wrist to be loose, yes, but we want a lot of the power, right? Coming from that elbow. So A. B minor. Let's do that again. Now we're gonna to go to a G chord. We're gonna play it in this way where the third finger is placed on the third fret of the B string where we have that D note, that's our fifth, okay? So G, B, and D, that's the one, three, five of this chord, all right? And again, nice and loose here. So let's go through those three chords again. I'll grip it like Bradley, here we go. Back to our A. Let's do that again. All right, one more time. So that repeats, all right? So we've got that A, B minor, G, and A. So those are the chords there. Now, within this intro, there's some really cool riffs. So it goes something like this, and I'll play the chords just to give it context. And there's two different ways that you can do this. I'm pretty sure they did both and then put them together on the album, okay? And I'm gonna teach you both ways how to do it. So here's the first way. Really cool, really cool little riff. Not too hard to do when you're playing the A chord. So that's version one. I'm gonna show you version two in a second. So here's how we play version one. Open D string. With your second finger, grab this C note, third fret of the A string, 
you're gonna strike it twice, but you're gonna give me a little downward pull. And then release with the open A string, okay? So the whole thing, I'm gonna play it a little slow, is gonna sound like this. Now with those pulls, what I'm doing here, after I pull down, notice how I went down with my hands here on the strings, muting it. See what I mean? Instead of that we don't wanna do. Place the hand down, mute. Okay, so just like that. Now, let's go ahead, give it a little context with those four chords, A minor, B minor, G, and A. Here comes the riff. Let me go right back to that E chord, all right? So that is version one, okay? And yes, folks, we are live, live today. Thank you all so much. I'm gonna be reading some of your comments in a minute on some of your favorite uh, 90s sing-alongs. All right, so that's riff one. Now riff two, we're gonna play the same exact notes, we're just gonna play them in a different spot. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do that. First finger, third fret of that B string. There's our D note. With your third finger, Reach for the fifth fret of that G string. There's our C. Now you're gonna bend upwards this time. You're gonna upwards bend two times with that C note. Finish here, A note, second fret of the G string. All right, so let's try version two with the chords. Let's give it context. Even ending it on that A chord is going to sound great. Let's do that again. Here comes the riff. All right, just like that. So that's what's happening there. Now let's go ahead and look at the verses. All right, so I'm going to give you two different ways to look at this. All right, so the first way, which I noticed how he did it live, was all bar chords, okay? So it would sound like this. Nice and loose here. Notice, for the most part, we have downward strokes with this. Okay, kind of that, that reggae feel, right? That ska feel. It's so fun. So what we're gonna do here, so those chords is they're A minor, B minor, G, and A. Notice the same chords we did here, but we're playing them as bar chords, all right? To my beginners, where this may seem a little difficult for you, oh my gosh, I'm playing all these chords up here. Could you still play it like this? You totally can. However, it's not gonna sound quite like the song because we want those higher notes versus this. See what I mean? So, beginners, if this is where you're at right now, it's awesome, it's gonna sound great, okay? You're gonna sound really good. Work towards the bar chords though, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through it. All right, my intermediates and my advance. Let's get to these chords. So what we're gonna do here, first finger, okay? Across all six strings, fifth fret. A major is this chord that we're playing here. So the root of this chord is located on the fifth fret of the E string, that's our A note. Again, A, C sharp, and E are one, three, five to build this A major chord, okay? So what we're gonna do here, right? We've got that first finger there across the fifth fret. Get your second finger, placing it on the sixth fret, the G string, right there. That is our third, that is our C sharp, okay? Your third finger, 
Again, nice curl here, like a bridge. Seventh fret of that A string, that is E. So there's our five. Fourth finger goes down on the seventh fret of the D string, that is our A note. We're gonna strum everything here. Beautiful chord, right? Yes, very lovely on a Saturday afternoon here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, strike the low E first and play the rest of the chord. Just like that. Now notice when I did the downward strike, I don't let it ring. That's not how we wanna do it, okay? This part of the hand here, after you strike downward, mute. Hear that? That's what we're shooting for here with this song, okay? We don't want this to ring, it doesn't sound the same. By adding the mute, notice how much of a percussive attack we're getting here. See what I mean? So that's what we're gonna work on here. So A major, let's just focus on that chord because the strumming for the most part is going to be the same here, okay? There's gonna be a couple upstrokes, but we'll talk about it when we get there. So let's just focus on that attack just on the A major chord, okay? So here we go. And if you don't get the whole chord every time, that's okay. Hear how sometimes I'm striking the E and sometimes I miss it? That's okay. Okay, it's good stuff. So that's the A major. The next chord we're gonna play is B minor. Now A and B, they're a whole step apart. Okay, so we're gonna do this move here too. Check this out, A major. Bring it up a whole step. So your first finger should be on the seventh fret. Now, because of this second finger, this is now a B major, but that's not the chord we want. We want to be minor. So what we're gonna do here, just lift the second finger out of the way. We don't need it here. You're gonna play everything. And that's gonna be your B minor. So your first finger should be on the seventh fret, that's your B. Your third finger should be on the ninth fret that A string, that's your F sharp. Your fourth finger should be on B ninth fret of the D string. And all of these, that first finger, is gonna play all the rest of those notes, all the rest of those strings on the seventh fret, okay? So just like that, all right? Strumming pattern's gonna be the same here. Keep it loose, but again, that rhythm. We wanna be right on it, mm cha, mm cha, mm cha, okay? So just like that. Okay, so now let's do this. A major to B minor. Let's go through that. All right, here we go. Back. One more time. Next chord, G major. G, B, and D, the one, three, five. It's gonna look and sound like this. Here's how we get there. First finger laid across the third fret of the E string, the E string, all six strings, all right? So, second finger, fourth fret of the G string, there's our B note, third finger reaches up. Remember, nice curls on all these fingers except the bar, okay? Nice curls, we want them to look like bridges, all right? Third finger, fifth fret of that A string, that note is D, D is in dog, all right? Fourth finger goes down on the fifth fret of the D string, that note is G, G as in go. Strum everything. Just like that, okay? So, same strumming pattern. Okay, so let's do this again from the top A, B minor, G, here we go. Do that again. Mm. 
Now, when we finish the verse, he gives a good upstroke there. So, try not to fight the gravity. I know it seems, I know upstroke sometimes can seem a little awkward, but again, when we keep that right hand pretty loose, let the pick do the work for you, okay? And sometimes if you need to kind of go out like this, see how I can, like, well, let me do it. Let me do it right. That was a little, that was a little weird. It was kind of like a robot move. Let's do that again in context. Okay. Let the pick do the work for you and release. Okay. If we dig too much with the pick on the upstroke, we don't want that. Let the pick do the work for you. Okay. Cheapest amplifier we can buy is the pick. Okay, so that's what's happening there for most of the verse, all right? So we play that, and then there's this really cool little thing that happens here. The B minor is now gonna be replaced with a D major chord, okay? So to give you context, here's how it's gonna sound. I'll do that again. So the strumming is getting a little bit more percussive, right? We're getting a little bit more of those upstrokes. I will walk you through it, all right? So we're gonna start again with the A major. So that's gonna be the strumming pattern. Let's do that again. Let's do this a few times here, A. We're gonna go to D major. We're gonna play it this way, all right? There are many reasons why I like to play my major chords like this. I like to have my second and fourth finger free. Say I wanna do a suspension. Say there's a minor seven chord right after it, who knows, or a major chord right after it. I like to have these fingers free. So that's why I choose to play it in this way. Now, I know it's a little scary for some folks. I see some people do this. I like this way a little better, so that's how I like to play it, all right? I see a lot of this, it's fine, but I like to play it like that, all right? So for that reason that I mentioned previously, I like to have my second and fourth finger free to do other things, all right? So we're gonna do here, first finger, lay it across the fifth fret from the A string downwards, okay? That D note is where the tip of our first finger is on the fifth fret of the A string. Now, third finger, we're gonna lay it across the seventh fret of the D string, G string, and the B string. I know this is gonna feel awkward for some of you, but don't worry, when you get, once you get it under your fingers, it's a really cool way to grip this chord. And lucky for us, we're playing this on electric, so it's slightly easier than if we were doing this on acoustic, okay? So what are those notes that we're playing here? These are gonna come in handy. Remember this, I'm gonna talk about this in a different context in a little bit, okay? Remember this shape, so. Hint, hint, okay? So that third finger that's being placed on the seventh fret of that D string, that note is A. The seventh fret of that G string, okay? There's your other D note. And then the seventh fret here of the B string, that is F sharp. So that in and of itself is its own mini D major chord. Remember this, okay? So that's how we're gonna grip that D major. We're gonna go back to G and then back to A. All right, so with this new, more percussive strumming pattern, I'm gonna go through it nice and slowly here, follow along. All right, here we go, and I'm gonna play this slower. So here we go. I'm gonna take it even slower.
Notice lots of palm muting here, right? Where I would strum the chord and we're muting with this part of the hand. Let's keep doing this for a second. Let's do that one more time. Land on that upstroke. All right, pretty cool stuff, right? This is a really, really fun one. Again, it's all about the rhythm here. It's all about the groove. Okay, so let's see, before we get to some of the verse riffs, let's go ahead and take some of your comments. Again, those of you tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite 90s sing-along. Let's, let's read through a couple of them, then we'll get back to this lesson here. Let's see. Live, yes. Ooh, someone said bad fish. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Aw, thanks for the kind words, everybody. Glad you guys are enjoying this. Oh, thank you, everybody. Learn to fly. It's a great one. That's a great one. Ah, oh, we've got live here. Cool. Got patience, Guns N' Roses, solid. Throwing Copper is a great album. I agree. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Thank you all for your comments, everybody. This is great. This is great. All right. So keep throwing in the comments. Again, it's live Q&A, too. So if you guys have questions about the gear, and all that stuff and some of the techniques we're using. Put them in the comments. Be happy to, to answer those for you. Also, too, um, if you guys want to know more about the pickups I'm using here, these are the Fisherman Fluence Single Width Strat Style pickups. I love them. So I'm on position two right here in voicing one, and I'm plugged into a, uh, a Fender Blues Junior for this lesson. But, yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff indeed. So if you want to learn more, there's a there's a link in the video description. You can uh, you can check that out. All right, all right. Ooh, someone's asking when am I going to teach part two of the rain song? It's on the list. Don't worry. I got to brush up on it too. So I need a little time to brush up on it, but I will absolutely be teaching that one again. Oh, and we got some black crows. Some yep, talks to angels. Totally a beautiful song and a wonderful, wonderful sing along. I love that song too. I actually taught that as well. So you can go back to my channel, and if you want a lesson on She Talks to Angels, it's there. All right. So let's get into some of these verse riffs. They're awesome. They're so fun. We want to take our time with these. Again, really all about the groove here. They're not terribly difficult, but it's really all about the groove here. OK, so here's what's happening here. So after we play that A, D, G, A section, He sneaks in some really cool riffs. So let's see. So that's our first one. And again, just a little whisper. Just a little whisper. It's great. All right. So here's what we're going to do here. We're going to get our first finger here, fifth fret of the A string. There's our D note. Let's slide into it. We're going to slide to the 7th fret of the A string. There's our E note. From there, we're going to go to the D string, OK? 7th fret, that note is A. We're, we're going to do this all with our first finger, just like that. Upstroke on that A note here, 7th fret, just like that. Again. Now, from there, we're going to strike that A note again, hammer on to the B note, and then pull off back to A. Don't forget alternate picking here, folks, OK? And notice that little ghost note. I'll play that again. Okay. That little 
touch of a ghost note, okay? So just lift up on that A to get that ghost note, then go ahead and press back down, okay? With a little context here, let's give it a little speed. Okay, just a fun little riff there, all right? So then from there we go into the chorus, all right? So the chorus here is gonna be D major to A. We're gonna play this three times. Again, same grip here. So we're going to do that three times. Bill is asking when you are strumming the bar chords, are you hitting the low note of the chord first, then the rest of the chord? Yes. So just like that. Okay. So yes, Bill, the answer is yet. Yes. Hit the low note, then the rest of the chord. All right, much success to you, much success to you. All right, so that's what's happening there. Chorus, D to A three times, okay? Then we go to D. We're gonna slide up to A, remember, or slide up to E, slide up to E. D to E, remember that they are a whole step apart. So we're gonna use the same grip here. We're gonna let that E string ring. Let's put this in context now. So here we go, D to A four times. Then we're gonna go from D to E, let the E string ring. Nice big wide strum there, okay? So here we go, here's the chorus. I'll play it through um, at speed and then we'll do it a little bit slower so you can follow along. So here we go. So let's do that again nice and slowly here. Notice how it's a little bit more percussive. I'm gonna slow it down, here we go. Now, with this E chord, if you happen to get that low E, guess what, it's fine. Because it's an E chord, all right? So if you happen to catch that, no problem. Just have a little bit of added bass. Let's do this one more time here. So that's what we want to do there. All right, Dwayne is asking, Angela, I asked to answer this. If you can, if you can, if I learned it on my acoustic, is it easier if I play it on my electric? Let's see, with this, if you're a beginner, and you're doing all of these bar chords on an acoustic, it's an acoustic that you haven't had set up, right? So that means the strings are perhaps a little higher on the fretboard, right? So a setup, what that means is, is you bring your guitar to a luthier and they will lower the action, okay? So that's the space between the fretboard and the strings. So if you have a guitar that's really, really super hard to press the strings on, probably needs a bit of a setup. They, 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 they fix the truss rod and they do some other really cool stuff to get it lowered so it's more comfortable for you. If you are playing on an acoustic, it might be a little tougher, right? Especially if you're a beginner, it might be a little tougher to squeeze through. And electric would be easier to play on this for sure. The strings are lighter, right? Usually the action is slightly lower on an electric guitar. If you only have an acoustic, totally okay. Um, just make sure it's properly set up and comfortable. We do, you know, we, we do want the, we want to establish um, calluses 
on our fingers. That's important, right? But we want to make sure that the guitar is, it, it doesn't hurt and it's not painful to play. So again, look into getting your guitar set up if it is a little too tough to push down, all right? Um, let's see, do you have any recommendations on, uh, recommendations on what electric to buy? Luigi, great question. Go to, my best advice, when you're buying electric guitar, buy an electric guitar that you like the sound of. So I can tell you what I like as a player, right? But what I like in, in electric guitar, you, you may not like so much. So I would suggest go to you know, a music store and play a bunch of them and see which one calls to you that's within your budget and all of that stuff. Um, so, but play it first. I wouldn't buy one sight unseen. Get your hands on it first. See if you like the neck, see if you like the sound. That's my best advice. That's my best advice. All right, so that's the chorus there. So now we're gonna do, before we get into any of the other riffs, I wanna talk about the inversions with these, with these chords in this song, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna breeze through them, folks, because they are really, really fun. So I noticed when Bradley would play it live, he did the bar chords, and that's what we learned at this first part, right? <coughs> And all these chords, pretty much, that's, that's the song. You know, the chords in the song, we learned them. Congrats, okay? But say you're playing this with someone else, okay? So already what we did, we already know the chords here. Right? The song's four chords. We have an A, we have a B minor, we have a G, and we have D. Okay, and we have E, five. I lied, five. Okay. So could you actually, beginners, you'll play it here. Okay, my intermediates. You could play all these chords here. Notice how we're getting to different sections of the instrument now with these other inversions, right? They look a little something like this. Notice how we are now in a different part of the guitar. So we can play this song in three different parts. Now, let's talk about how we do this. So A major, let's look at that one first. So here's what I want you to do. First finger, lay it across the ninth fret of the D string, G string, B string, and E string. Remember our target notes. What are the target notes here? A, C sharp, and E, all right? So your second finger, place that here on the 10th fret of the B string. That's our A note. Okay, so just like this. Okay, now we're gonna do here your third finger. Place that here on the 11th fret of the D string. There's your C sharp. So if we strum this, that's an A chord, listen. It's just a higher version. A beautiful inversion, if you will. Okay, so. That's what we're gonna do there. Now, you can play it this way. If you wanted, say you want another A note in there, no problem. This is a bit of a stretch, but if you want to, get that fourth finger, okay, this is optional here, this is optional. Get that fourth finger on the 12th fret of the A string, and then you're like, then you got an awesome A chord here. But, if you can reach, great, and do that. Do it, but we'll keep it there for now, okay? Optional with the A, optional, okay? So we'll play that A chord this way, okay? So there's our A chord. B minor, all you're gonna do, first finger across the seventh fret of the G string, B string, and E string. Counting from the E string up, there's B, there's our root right here, okay? B string, Seventh fret, all right, that's our F sharp, and then here on the seventh fret of the G string, that is D, that is our flat three. Okay, it's just like that. Pretty cool, right? A, so let's go ahead and do this. A to B minor. Just give me downward strokes here.
Now check out G major. Leave your first finger where it is, seventh fret. Second finger, eighth fret of the B string. There's your G note. Third finger goes on the ninth fret of the D string. There is B, there's our third. So look at that switch from B minor to G major. Pretty awesome, right? It's right there. Slide this shape up. There's your A chord. Up a whole step, okay? So let's do those three real quick here. Let's do this again. So Sam, funny you mentioned that. That sounds like some Rolling Stones. Kind of does, doesn't it? We see this kind of shape very commonly in Keefe's playing. Okay? And we're seeing it here today too in this song. So. Now, if, say we're going to that chorus, right? It goes from D to A. Remember how I said, remember this bar chord here? Check this out. If you put your first finger across the seventh fret of that D string, G string, and B string, there's our B major chord. Just like that. Don't strike the E string. We're not gonna need it here. Okay, it's just like that. There's your D major. And then we go to A. So here's how it sounds in context. D, A. D, A. D, There's our E major right here. What are those notes? Remember the target notes we need, E, G sharp, and B? Check it out, first finger, ninth fret of that D string. There's B, check that off the list, okay? Then we have the ninth fret of the G string, that's E, there's our one. So if we did this correctly, that should be G sharp on the ninth fret of the B string and we would be corrected as G sharp, okay? So that's how we're gonna play those inversions. Again, you need to rewind, like, wait a second, how'd you do that? That's why these lessons are on YouTube, folks. You can rewind, slow it down. All right, good stuff. So that's there, okay? So now let's go ahead and talk about some of the riffs that we find in the verses, all right? And again, those of you who are digging these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause, Angela Petrulli Music on YouTube. I've been seeing some little whispers of the EP. Yes, that was my big news. I'm releasing an EP. I'm going to be recording one the end of August 2022. And if you would like to pledge to this Kickstarter that I'm doing for the EP, I'm sure one of the fine folks that's watching right now on the, on the live stream, if you wouldn't mind putting the link up to the EP so that folks who are watching on YouTube if you want to click on it and pledge, I'd so, so appreciate it. But you can also find it on, uh, you can find the link on the YouTube channel and uh, on all my social media. So if you'd like to pledge to the making of my EP, I'd, I'd so, so greatly appreciate it. All right. So thank you all so much in advance. Thank you all so much. It's always great spending a Saturday with you guys. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to look at some of the verse riffs. Here's one. Let's talk about how to do it. It's all based around an A, an A sus2 chord. There's your A sus2, and there's your A, okay? So first finger, placing that across the second fret of the D string, G string, and B string, there's that A chord, okay? Go ahead and strike the open A string. I'm gonna do some hybrid picking here, okay? This is how I like to play this part. That's what feels really comfortable to me, okay? With the pick, strike the open A string. With that second finger, I am striking upwards on that B and G string. Now, as those are ringing, like they are right now, 
hammer on with that third finger on the third fret of that B string. So that's our D note. We're going to make that A sus4 when we do that. Then we release. Then we play the second fret of the G string. That's your A. And then that E note, second fret of the D string. Okay, so let's do that nice and slowly here. And the G string and, and, and D string, use your pick for those notes, okay? Just like that. To give it context, I'll go ahead and play this a little faster. And then from there, we go into the that part of the verse with D and A. Okay? All right, so that's what's happening there. Or no, we go to a chorus. Never mind. I lied. After that, we go to a chorus. Then to D. And that section. Actually, I did lie. It goes after the verse. A, D, G, A. We're live, folks. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now we have this really cool verse riff after that. So this is in verse two. All right. It's this really awesome line. Okay. I didn't write it down on my notes, but I would bet I'm 98% sure it's at the one minute 45 mark. It's this really awesome riff. It goes like this. I'll play it a little slower. It's a scale, folks. Don't freak out. It's really fun. All right. So it feels like you're 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 doing cartwheels or uh, yeah. It's it's a fun one. So we're gonna take this one nice and slow. I'm gonna play that again. Okay. All right, so let's get to that here. And after this, we're gonna do the main solo. And folks, like, that's the lesson. So much great stuff in this one. Again, so, so happy um, to have all of you here. And, and please let me know how it's going. Let me know how everybody's coming along with this lesson. Okay, put it in the comments, I'd like to know, because I'm reading them live here, folks. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna break this down into a couple different parts. So from A to B to C sharp, Okay, first finger on A, third finger on B, sliding that a whole step to C sharp. Okay. One, two, three of that A major scale. First finger here, we're going to place that on E, seventh fret of that A string. Now we hammer on here, ninth fret, okay, F sharp. Now we add here our second B note, seventh fret of that D string. Let's do that again. Don't forget to alternate pick here, folks. Notice the slide from B to C sharp. I'm letting that ring. I'm not striking all three notes. Okay. Let's do that again. Again. So now from here, Such a fun riff. We finished here on the seventh fret of that D string. That note is A. Okay. Now we're going to hammer on to the ninth fret of that D string. There's your B note. From B to C sharp, eleventh fret of the D string. Okay, we're repeating this. We're repeating what we did up here. Nice. 
nice and slow. Let's do that again, the whole thing. One more time. I did that wrong. Let's do that again. One more time. Okay. Now here, the next part, we're going to go ahead and add first finger, ninth fret of the G string. Okay. It's another E note. So now let's add that one in nice and slow. Now we're going to hammer on 11th fret of that G string. There's your F sharp. Now add 10th fret of the B string. That's A. Okay, let's do that whole thing nice and slow. Really fun little riff here, okay? Nice and slow. Let's do this a few more times. Well, last time. Now from here, go back to the ninth fret of that G string. That's it, just that note. Go back with your first finger, seventh fret of the D string. Strike that, hammer onto the ninth fret, back to the seventh fret. Just like that, all right? Let's do the whole thing nice and slow. When you listen to this on the album, it's wicked fast. But we're gonna play it slow, because you can't play anything fast, you can't play slow, folks. One of my favorite sayings here on the Riff Rundown. Nice and slow, here we go. Okay, that's a pull off there too. Hammer on pull off, here we go. faster. One more time. All right. Just like that. And again, yes, Sam, I love it. Hit that like button. It helps with the algorithm and the stuff. It helps a lot. It helps the cause. And also, too, oh, so appreciating a lot of you checking out the EP fundraiser. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, guys. Really appreciate that. Again, you can find the link in my, uh, on all the socials. And if any, actually, you know what? I think I could type it in here. Let's see if this works. Bit.ly forward slash. Let's see if this works. Pause. Let's see this. All right. Forward slash. Angela Sunset EP. There you go. There it is right there. You can click on that, everybody. YouTube, Facebook, you saw the link. There it is. All right. So that's that one riff we see at the 1 minute 45 mark. Let's go ahead and look at the iconic solo that's in this. I'll play it right here. And then we're going to call it a day, folks. All right. <laughs> So that is the, that's the riff right there. That's the solo, all right? So that's what's happening there. So let's go ahead and go through the first part. We're gonna do here first finger on the fourth fret of that G string. That is the B note. And we're gonna hammer on to the sixth fret. We're gonna do that two times. If you wanna give it a little bit of vibrato there, feel free to do it. Okay, not too bad. 
Now with your third finger, go back to the fourth fret of the G string and bend up, then bring it back to true. Okay? Let's do that again. One more time. Part two goes like this. Again, not too bad. So here's what we're gonna do here. First finger, second fret of that D string. There's your A note, or E note, sorry. Hammer on to F sharp, fourth fret. First finger on the second fret of the G string. There's A to B, fourth fret. Part one, part two, here we go. Let's do that again. Okay, just like that, one more time. Just like that. All right? So that's what's happening there. That's part three. Now we're going to do here, okay? The beginning of part three. Get your first finger, first fret of the G string. It's our G sharp. You're going to hammer on to A and then back to G sharp. From there, second finger. Second fret of that, D string, E. Slide it up to F sharp. Get the first finger from B, second fret of that A string, to C sharp. Just like that. Let's combine all three parts nice and slowly here. Again. Okay. So now part four. That's all we're going to do there. Okay. Third finger, fourth fret of the A string, that's our C sharp. First finger goes on now, the second fret of that D string, E. Fourth fret of that D string, F sharp, strike it twice. Okay, so that's what's happening there. Let's now add that. All four parts, here we go. Now from here, go back to your E note, second fret of the D string. So that's part five. E note, A note, second fret G string. Go back from A to G sharp. Second fret D string E, back to F sharp, fourth fret. So here we go. In context, let's do the whole thing. Okay. This is the last part here. It's part six. It goes like this. Okay, 
how we do this. First finger on A, fifth fret of the E string. Third finger reaches to play the seventh fret of that B string. Okay, that's F sharp. Second finger goes on the sixth fret of that G string, C sharp. Now we go to B, fourth fret. With the first finger, go to A. Slide to B, go back to A, slide back. Okay, so the whole part six sounds like this. Again. One more time. Okay, let's do the whole solo. And folks, we are done for the day. Again, if you're enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you'd love to pledge to the making of my Kickstarter, I'd love to have you on the journey with me in creating this, some brand new music. Go to the link. I posted it here. I'll post it in the video too. I'll post it in the video too once this is up. So you guys can go ahead and click on that and, 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 and join me on the journey in creating a new EP. It's, it's, it's rad. All right. So here we go. Whole solo. We're going to call it a day. Thanks again, everybody. Glad, glad you guys are having fun with this one. Here we go from the top of the solo. faster. There we go. And there it is. And then folks, after that we have a chorus out. All right, such an honor to be here with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in week after week. So thrilled to hear you guys are enjoying these lessons. Again, if you would like to learn more about the Fishman gear that I'm using in these lessons, be sure to have a look at the link in the video description. You could check them out there. If you're enjoying these lessons, please subscribe to the channel. And if you would love to support me on my EP, um, the making of my EP, I'll, I'll leave the link in the video description too uh, for that Kickstarter. There's lots of cool stuff, you know. So here's the thing. I'm also including in rewards for this Kickstarter one-on-one -on -one lessons. There's a handful left. There's not too many left. So if you, if you want one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, I'm including that in some of the Kickstarter pledges too. So have a look for that. Would love to teach you one-on-one. -on -one. It's part of one of the rewards for these for this EP. Again, thank you all so much. As always, wishing you so much success in your musical journey. So, so thrilled um, to hear that these lessons really help all of you. It really makes this so worthwhile to me too, to hear that all of you are just loving this. So thank you all so, so much. Much success on this lesson. It's a fun one. If you don't know this tune, go and, go and listen to it. It's a great one, all right? So everybody take good care. Have a great weekend. I will see you live next week. All right, might do an acoustic, might do an electric lesson. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can hear when I give you some, uh, some hints on what the lesson will be about. All right, everybody take good care. Thanks again. Happy, uh, happy learning, everybody. All right, and yes, these lessons are on Skype. They're not in person, Skype only. I can't travel around the world as much as I would like to. Skype lessons only, all right? So thank you all so much. Take good care, and 